Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms, and today I'm going to be reviewing the latest film from Sam Raimi, Oz the Great and Powerful. Now, as I'm sure everybody watching this review already knows, this is a prequel to The Wizard of Oz, and the only thing I'm going to say right up front is I'm not going to compare this film to The Wizard of Oz whatsoever. There's no reason to do that, um, you know, and... Uh, you know, before I went into this film, I read a couple of reviews, and they were comparing this film to Wizard of Oz. Like, they kept comparing it to the film, and I think that that is where you automatically fail with trying to review this film, or even looking at this film. Um, the best thing to do is to go into this film, you know, of course, you knowing it's a prequel, but just look at it as its own film. I think that's the best way to look at this. Um... So anyway, the story starts off telling about Oz, who, who is a musician uh, that uh, travels with the circus. And, you know, of course, he, he's, a, uh, he's a fake. He doesn't have any real magical powers or anything like that. And uh, one day, uh, there's the strong man of the circus um, finds out that Oz has been sleeping with his woman. So he comes after him. And, um, you know, you, you find out, you know, Oz is basically like the playboy of this circus. Like, he's sleeping with several different women. And, uh, you know, as the, as the strong man comes after him, Oz escapes, gets into a hot air balloon. Right at that time, there is a storm hitting. And he is sucked away into, into a tornado and, and transported to the land of Oz. And once he gets there, uh, he finds out that there is this prophecy about this great and powerful wizard that will come to Oz and help save them from the Wicked Witch. And um, once he gets there, you know, everybody thinks it's him, but he does not actually have any special powers. You know, that's, that's the problem. And, um, <clears throat> you know, but he is determined to be a great man. He is, he is uh, his main influences is Thomas Edison and, um, uh, uh, oh, what's his name, um, the, mu the musician, the famous one, uh, Hen Houdini, there we go, um, so he's very inspired by these two figures, and he wants to be a great man also, um, so that, that kind of leads him through what he's, you know, going through, he meets up with the Good Witch, um, which is played by, uh, um, gosh, I'm just, I'm losing it today, uh, damn it, what's her name? <laughs> Uh, Michelle Williams, yes. Uh, she plays Glinda. And, um, <clears throat> you know, Glinda has two sisters, Evanora and uh, Thedora. Thedora is played by Mila Kunis, and Evanora is played by Rachel Wise. And they all talk about this Wicked Witch. Um, but, you know, one of them ends up being the Wicked Witch. And, uh, you know, so Oz is put on this big mission to save... Um, you know, Oz, the land of Oz, and, um, you know, so, so that's, that's what he's faced with, you know, having no real true powers, uh, magical supernatural powers, but still trying to find a way to, to, uh, save Oz. Um, I thought that this film was great. Um, you know, I just assumed, I thought, you know, that I would probably like it, I would probably be entertained by it, but honestly, guys, it turned out to be a lot better than what I was anticipating going into this. Um, I thought it was a fantastic film, um, you know, it, it's, you know, one of the, the biggest things that I thought Sam Raimi hit on just right in this film is not overdoing it with characters. I think that that's how a lot of big budget films like this are killed off nowadays, is they try to just cram so much shit into it that it just ruins it. And I feel that Raimi held back on that. You know, you got the core players, you have Oz, you have uh, the Good Witch, and then he has this little monkey servant. And then this little porcelain doll uh, woman that they save, uh, her village has been overran, they save her. And that's your core characters in the film. Um, you know, now of course you've got your minor players and characters that come in and out of the film, but that's your core group, and I think that the film has a lot of strengths because of that. I think that was the smartest move Raimi did in this. Um, you know, and I think the effects are fantastic. You know, I was kind of worried about it being such a, a hugely... Um, CG environment, but it, it looks great. I mean, it really does look fantastic. This is some of the best CG I've seen yet. 
And the thing with the CG environments is they they look realistic, even though it's it's meant to to look fake. You know, all the colors are very overdone and everything's overdone. Um, but it looks realistic in the sense that it seems like it's a 3D environment. Like, they're interacting with the environment a lot, and you just see depth. I mean, I didn't even see this film in 3D, just in 2D. It just looks, it doesn't look like somebody standing by a green screen, is basically what I'm saying. And, and that happens a lot with these CG films, but this one did not feel that way at all. It, it, it really, really worked a lot. Um, I thought James Franco did great as Oz. And he has a lot of heart. You know, you just, you, you really want to get behind him. You, you know, and you get to believe in him. The people of Oz get to believing in him. And, and as it goes along, you you feel yourself believing in him also that he can do this, that he can be this person um, to come and save Oz. Uh, uh, what else can I say about this film? Um, you know, I, I love the way it ended too. It just... The, the build up to it was fantastic and I love the payoff I thought the payoff was great it pays homage to the original film um, you know and, and I think Raimi just did that all the way around with this you know he was really respectful to to the to the Wizard of Oz but you know it, he made his own story too and this this is a film that you know I think it carries on its own you know and, and it really it really interests me in the actual story by uh, Frank Baum you know I, I really would like to check this out now um, you know I didn't realize there was uh, a couple books on the, uh, the Land of Oz Wizard of Oz whatever you want to call it um, you know I, I don't know a whole lot about it but you know it, it from seeing this film, it makes me interested in reading up on some of this stuff. Um, but guys, I highly recommend this film. Like I said, you know, go into it just looking at it with an open mind. Look at it as its own film. And I think it's very entertaining, you know. And not just entertaining, but the film also has a lot of heart to it. You know, it has a lot of genuine feeling to it. And I think that that's, that's what makes it so great, too. You know, you just... Like I said, you feel for these characters, and, and, and uh, you know, I was just highly entertained by this. I loved it. And, you know, the thing I have to say, too, is as soon as the film was, was over, the credits just started, Andrew looks at me and he says, we have to get this one on Blu-ray. So, I mean, that says a lot, you know. I thought that that was so awesome. Andrew immediately wanting the film on Blu-ray, I explained to him, or tried to, you know, the film is not out on Blu-ray yet. It's still in the theater. Um, and, but I did ask him if he would like to go see it again while it's in a theater, and he said yes, which really surprised me. It's the first time he's ever said that. So, you know, uh, you know, if it wins the kids over, that was really saying something, and it really won Andrew over. And He's kind of picky with films like this, so that's really cool. But, guys, I give Oz the Great and Powerful a 9 out of 10. I highly recommend checking it out. I think it's a fun uh, family PG-13 Disney film, you know, that, you know, if you enjoy, um, the world of Oz and that whole, you know, mythology, I think you're going to really like this film. Um, it just really worked to me. And, you know, I've heard a, a sequel's already been greenlit. Well, I'm looking forward to that now after seeing this because it exceeded my expectations and I really loved it. And I'm looking forward to seeing it again while it's still in the theater. So, guys, check it out now. It's out. I appreciate you watching, guys. Have a good one. Later.